Tokyo. I came here when I was a kid, but I just remember the bright lights and the crowds. Tokyo Disneyland, Godzilla. But my memory betrayed the reality. Shibuya Crossing, Special Mixed Ramen, Sakichi Fish Market, the chaos. It's balanced with tranquility and organization in abundance. After days of oscillating between the cacophony and the serene, I realized that there's a common thread. How does a seemingly dichotomous city function so cleanly as one machine? The answer, precision. If getting rained on while cycling is what you like about your city, then you should try Japan. Tokyo is a product of delicate and deliberate decision making across all levels, sectors and stakeholder groups. A history marked by disasters has culminated in a resilient urban form where self-sufficient microgrids and shockproof foundations are equally as prized as sustainable energy technologies. Public assets are leveraged to achieve urban regeneration, with one inner city plan seeing public land sacrificed for upgraded commercial towers, and another seeing a primary school converted to a powerful house of startups and innovators. Feed-in tariffs and cap-and-trade programs see the private sector lured by government towards smart city technology. Mobility is facilitated with direct connections from commercial towers to robust metro stations. And businesses operate in sync with global markets at all times of day, facilitating a dynamic 24-hour economy. There's culture, there's food, there's sport, and there's a fundamental respect for tradition, balanced nicely with an insatiable thirst for the future that sees robotics and autonomous technology front and square in the public eye. And after the disasters, the booms and falls in population development and growth, in Tokyo, they're planning a now that promises a livable future. But what about Seoul? Koreans drop the veneer. After a storied history of occupation, struggle and betrayal from their own, they don't waste time with outward smiles or formalities. Instead, the people of Seoul are pursuing smart development outcomes with a reckless vigour that sees major highways torn down to make way for precious green space, data shared between transit platforms to optimise service delivery, and vast quantities of land reclaimed for new city building projects. City strives to develop a smart platform where planning decisions are informed by big data, which presents new challenges for governance and policy making that even the UN struggles to clearly solve. Yet beyond these grand ambitions lie intimate city building projects, with teams working to invigorate aging industrial areas and marketplaces with the tools and infrastructure for innovation, youth and growth. And in Songdo, a grand smart city experiment has delivered a series of disjointed smart platforms that despite their flaws, present an opportunity to shape something genuinely new. This is what Seoul does best. In the fray left behind from rapid development, life is growing at the feet of apartment buildings and in the graveyards of old infrastructure. I went to Asia with questions, and I got answers. Seoul and Tokyo scream it in bold graphic letters. When sustainable outcomes are pursued relentlessly, and the robust, intimate experiences of day-to-day -day life are never compromised, cities can be smart. 